Welcome back, one and all. We got more Dragon Quest builders up in this bitch. As you can see, we have uh, we have gotten quite the ways in. We got the Sword of Kings. We got the Auroral Armor. Got the Hero Shield. We loaded for bear, son. We are ready to go. Let's see what's here. Let's take a look here first. Oh crap! Look at that. They're making a. Uh, they're making the holy water foreman now. That's gonna make things a lot quicker. Now oh, we got to talk. Well met, Ranko. Twould seem thy preparations for the Dragon Lord's downfall are nigh complete. Thou hast gathered the ancient emblem, the staff of rain, and the sunstone. With these three artifacts, thou canst reconstruct the long-lost ancient altar. Tis, the, tis only by the power of this altar that the sacred rainbow drop might be rebuilt, and the path to the Dragon Lord's Isle of Evil be opened once more. Thou hast also forged the Sword of Kings and the overall armor, the legendary arms of the true hero of Olive God. For the... Whenever such a hero should appear in this world, these arms will serve him well in his battle against the Dragon Lord. There is but one duty that remaineth before the role allotted unto thee by the Al by Almighty Rubis is finally fulfilled. Thou must needs recover the crystal from which the rainbow drop is to be fashioned, and offer it up to the ancient altar. Long have I labored to divine how thou wilt obtain this sacred crystal. And at last, the secret hath, the secret hath revealed itself unto me. I have seen how thou, wilt built, how thou wilt craft the ultimate key that will open the doors of darkness behind which the crystal is hidden. And I have seen the ultimate enemy that doth await thee there. Ranko, my girl, before thou departst to beard this mighty f and f to beard this mighty foe and fulfill thy destiny, what sayst thou to making this castle of Tentacle even more splendid than it already is? When thy role as the builder of Alavgard is complete, thy powers will surely wane. Tis meet to make the most of them, while still thou canst. The reconstruction of Tentagal is a momentous task indeed, and yet I warrant that the town's revival may already be assured. Ah, yes, tis just as I did foresee it. Verily, thy building talents know no bounds. Renko, my girl, I congratulate thee. Thou hast trodden a long and treacherous path to reach this point. In all of the Divers realms of Alephgard, Cantlin, Rimmeldar, Carl, and Gallenholm, thou didst overcome nigh unscalable obstacles to achieve their salvation. In the beginning, thou wert sore, sh sore abrashed to have the sacred duty thrust upon thee, and didst attempt to rebel against thy fate, didst thou not? But now the time for resistance is over. Soon thy sacred duty will be complete, and this weighty burden lifted from thy shoulders. Oh, my dearest Ranko, thou hast done out of God proud. It is very nearly time. Time for thee to embark upon thy final adventure. Oh, we ain't done yet, bitch. Let me uh see about all the crap that's in here. But we ain't even close to done. Put that away. That should be enough. <laughs> Gotta figure out how to use this shit. Um. Ranko, my girl, I commend thee to have made it this far. Thou hast assembled the sacred artifacts required to build the ancient altar. 
and rebuilt the long-lost arms by which the Dragon Lord might be matched. Though it cannot be said that Tantigal is yet restored to the way it once was, the foundations for its eventual revival are nigh unshakable. So long as we men and women of Tantigal have the holy water that thou didst create, and the strength of will to follow in thy footsteps, tis but a matter of time before the town and the castle are restored to their former glory. The moment that thou dost fulfill thy final duty to rebuild the rainbow drop by which the Dragon Lord's Isle of Evil might be reached, twill be a fair, twill be fair to say that, in the greater part at least, the world will be returned to the state it was in afore the dread darkness was unleashed upon us. And with that, Alephgar's revival will be assured he is animated as all fuck. Look at this dude. <sniffs> hmm? Why such cluttered eyes, brows, my girl? I see, thou art overcome with emotion to hear such happy news. Thou knowest not how to react. Come, Ranka. While thought alone will not provide the answers we seek, let us instead rely on action. The rainbow drop must be rebuilt. As I have told thee many times before, the crystal from which the rainbow drop must be crafted is hid away in the blackest pit of the curse of this cursed uh, of this cursed land. Ah, oh, shit! My tongue is totally tired. A recess darker and danker than any other. And what is more, it is guarded by the source of the darkness itself, who is not like to part with it by any other means than by force of arms. Run, come a girl, the monster who doth lurk in this deep. Thank darkness will be thy final foe. I know not what manner of fiend he is, but for the sake of all that is good and holy, I bid thee put him to the sword. The doors to the darkness wherein he sleeps are unlocked by the ultimate key, of which I have already recovered one part. I bid thee gather the remaining materials to construct this key and bravely venture into the lair of thine ultimate enemy. Defeat him! And all that thou requirest to rebuild the rainbow drop shall be thine. Marker. And now we know how to make the ultimate key. Let's see how you do it. Float o copper. Where the hell do you get a float of copper? That's what I want to know. Okay. Ah, tis passapart out forged from floater copper, a magical metal with the shape shifting properties of the fiendish float au copier. F what little of the alloy that remaineth in Tantigal hath long since been collected by the covetous trolls who wander these moors. So go, Ranko, journey through the red teleportal and collect the materials. Thou needst to rebuild the ultimate key. Use it to open the doors to the Fortress of Solitude, defeat thy nemesis, and return with the crystal. Oh. Gotta beat the fuck out of trolls. That's, a, that's an idea. Let me see. Put a sleep in first. And here I thought sleeping would be what, uh, what brought about the use of the memory. Let's see what we could do here. A set of wrecking balls always works. Uh, we're good here, too. Since we don't have to make weapons anymore on account of having an indestructible sword. Alright, let's rock. Just gotta hunt, uh... We gotta hunt trolls through the red teleportal. I should have put that away since we don't need it anymore. And off we go.
And there it is, the uh, red teleportal. Now we gotta find some trolls. Where, ah, there's a troll. Let's go beat his ass, shall we? Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Fuck. Get this shit the hell out of here. Boom. That's one troll. He don't have what we need, so let's keep looking. Well, um, bitches, I take you all on. That's what's up. <laughs> While the sword is indestructible, it's uh, worth noting that the armor isn't. Well, shit. Let's see if he drops it. Nope. No such luck. Let's see. Let's see where we can find some more of these motherfuckers. Boom. Easy. Thankfully, the uh, Sword of Kings can also be used to, to mine. Though I'm not sure we're going to need it much for that at this point. Right now, I'm just hunting trolls. See if they can find, see if they can uh, give us what we need. Come on, trolls! I know y'all want to play with me. Oh, oh, we got another one. We got another one. Hey guys. Hey, hey. Come here, hey. Woo. Come on, drop the float. No. Nope. Oh, look, we got more trolls, though. Man. Yeah, what can I say, guys? I'm hard to kill. Come on. Hey, hey. Ooh. Thank you. Take that. Let me, uh... Oh, hello. Let me rebuild this here, uh... Let me rebuild this here, uh, room. One... Two, we need one more. Back here. And mm, bunch of those. And boom, one room. That was quick and easy, wasn't it? Well, I thought it was. And now we have for life. Let's use some of this bread. Ah, look at that. We got more trolls. Kind of moved in while we were sleeping. Woo! We got it. That means it's time to get get gone. Woohoo. We back. That means it's time to construct the key and open that one locked door. Uh, oh no, it's in the uh, in the altar.
but are very close, aren't you? I see you laughing and joking and occasionally sharing what I believe is called a high five. When I see you two enjoying each other's company, so I can't help feeling a bit, en a little envious. So meek and merciful Rubis, take pity on me, for I am a wretched sinner. Ranko, if something fortuitous should happen in the near future, could I have one of those high fives too? Ellie's way too cute for her own good. What isn't too cute? Is that key? We are now ready to rock. Let's see here. And none of any use. What the hell am I doing? Got plenty of food. I got resources, boy. Hey guys, don't mind me. I'm just uh, <laughs> I'm just passing through. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. There we go. Much better. Let's even this out a little bit. There we go. That looks about right. All right, back to the uh, teleportals. Actually, let me do something real quick. Uh, where are those? Take out one. <laughs> Let's make this damn room official. Through the red. And here we are. Got the key. Got the sword. We got the armor. We are loaded. So now, all that's left is to put a foot in some ass. Actually, wait, don't I have some life seeds I gotta, I gotta use real quick? Where the hell are they? I'm gonna leave those there and uh, use them in case I get hit. Since they refill your life as well as uh, giving you a new maximum. Get up again, boy. Come on. Woo! Goodbye. It's been fun. Now let's uh let's return to what we were doing. Don't mind me, everybody. <clears throat> Just passing through. Ooh. Little slime got moxie. Got spunk. Little bitch. What's up? And there it is. Wait a minute. I put the key. Damn it. I put the key away. I got damn fucking retard. Where is that shit? Key, 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 key. There it is. Need that. I need that. <laughs> Here we are. Half the world. Yeah, you got the wrong half, bitch. <laughs> the world is mine. It's all mine. <laughs> Who goes there? How darest thou disturb my solitude? I am the king, the king of all of God. 
The penalty for thine insolence is death. The fallen hero, king of darkness. Televised weapons. This is supposed to be the guy from the first game. Uh oh. All right, come on down, homie. Maybe you shouldn't telegraph your shit so hard. Ooh, got me. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Where you coming? Where you going, home? Oh, look. He brought his friends along. Gonna need a little more than that. Let's see who, uh, oh, nobody came. All right. Where the fuck you going, homie? Oh, he did. Hmm, too big. Back. Let me grab that shit. Ranko opens the treasure chest. What luck, the prismatic crystal. Ranko, my child, you've done well. He who was swallowed by the darkness has been vanquished, and all that is required to craft the rainbow drop has been reclaimed. All that remains is to rebuild the ancient altar, and the path to the Dragon Lord's lair shall be opened once more. It is just as Merlin says. The world will soon be returned to the way it was before that disastrous decision was made. When that is done, your role will be at an end. Ranko, my child, I'm so proud of you. Well, yes, Tantigo will remain shrouded in darkness and its people at the mercy of the monsters. That much is true. However, only the, the defeat of the Dragon Lord himself can lift the curse that he has inflicted he has inflicted upon this land. I am sorry, Ranka, but you are not a hero. It is not your place to fight against him. Then how will Tentacle ever again see the light of day? Someday a new hero will appear, a scion of the bloodline of Erdrick, who will lay the Dragon Lord low for once and for all. It was ever your role, Ranko, to set thing the stage for the hero's this hero's arrival. To rebuild the castle of Tantigal, from which he will strike at the heart of the beast. To craft the armor with which he will resist the Dragon Lord's onslaught. And the weapon with which he will smite the monster down. To restore this benighted land to the way it was before that fateful choice was made. I thank you, Ranko, from the bottom of my heart. The stage is almost set for the hero's arrival. All that remains is to wait to await the coming of the Scion of Erdrick and the Dragon Lord's long destined destruction. How long will we have to wait? I know not. Perhaps a year, perhaps a hundred. But the day will surely come. Do not be dismayed, my child, as the builder of Alafgard, your duty is almost over. Restore the ancient altar and rebuild the rainbow drop. And know, Ranko, that I do watch over you always. <laughs> Grab that. Needless to say, we will not be paying attention to that, uh, order. Where's that fucking, uh... Le rolled in...
Okay. Uh, oh, there's Mirland. By the goddess! Thou hast retrieved the prismatic crystal and returned unscathed. Tell me, my girl, what horrors didst thou witness within that darkness? What manner of foul fiend did inflict this curse upon our world? What in the... Ranko, thy face has fallen through the very floor. Why grievest thou so, when thy sacred duty is at an end? Is at last at an end? Thou didst defeat the source of the curse that afflicts these moors, didst thou not? Then thy work is done. It is but a matter of time before the curse is lifted from the land, and Tantigal blossoms into life once more. And if we continue to scatter the holy water upon this, the ashen earth, it will be done all the sooner. What? Thou wouldst have me seen to the future, and divine when the scion of Erdrick will come to defeat the dragon lord? What insolence! A soothsayer does not take requests. And even if I did, the time for the hero's coming is beyond the knowledge of Rubus herself and all her infinite wisdom. The vision of even so long sighted a seer as I stretches not that far. It could be ten years, or fifty, or even a hundred. <sighs> what? Thou sayest if that were the case, and thou and thy friends would not live to see true peace. But all those who have aided thee in rebuilding this world would pass to the hereafter before they did see their work completed. Well, yes. That may very well be true, but Ranko, my girl, thou failst to see the forest for the trees. Even if our lives were to end before the coming of the hero, then our children, or our children's children, or our children's children's children's... Um... Come, let us not dwell on the future. For the prisoner demand that thou speak with the princess and complete thy duty. Yeah, I'm not going to be paying attention to that bitch. Bitch-ass Merland. I got other ideas. Where's the princess? Well, she's got a better idea of what the hell's going on. Uh, no, this is not her room. What the hell am I doing? It's over here. Uh, no, she's not in. Ah, there she is. What up, princess? Ranko, Rubus and Mirland have told me all thou hast achieved. They say that thou hast only to combine the ancient emblem, the staff of rain and the sunstone, to rebuild the ancient altar. And upon that altar, recreate the long-lost rainbow drop. When that is done, thy role as the builder of Olive God will at last be fulfilled. Ranko, I know not what fate has in store for us. If the prophecy holdeth true, and the Dragon Lord will one day be defeated, then all will be well. And yet, and yet, in my girlish heart, I long to gaze upon the ba at the boundless blue sky, to feel the soothing rain upon my face and the gentle breezes through my hair. Mayhap tis mere selfishness on my part, the pampered princess within me speaking. Forgive me. As the heir to the throne of Alavgar, I needs must put my kingdom before myself. Anko, the role allotted to thee by Almighty Rubus is very near fulfilled. I bid thee follow the great goddess's guidance and rebuild the ancient altar. Upon that altar, craft the rainbow drop by which the Dragon Lord's island might once again be brought within reach. Milan hath gifted me a plan of the holy sanctuary wherein this ancient ritual was first enacted. Take it, Ranko, and fulfill thy duty. Hey, cool, we got a blueprint. Boom. Alright, let's get this done. We actually have to build the altar, though. Do we do it here or at the at the diviner's altar? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's gonna be at the diviner's. Don't mind me, buddy boys. Uh, there it is. Ancient altar. 
Oh, lucky me, I had enough, uh, <laughs> had enough Zenithium from last time. How you like that shit? I right, let's do this. We just gotta put the altar somewheres. Mm-hmm. Mm, that blocks something. Um, ah, here's as good a place as any, I suppose. It's, uh, boom. Um, hmm, maybe not. That's gonna be a problem. Hmm. I know what I can do. Let me clear out some of these, uh, extra bits first. Gotta make some space. That's all. I think that's enough. Let's take a look. No, we need to clear these out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see what we need. Uh... We need 13 castle foundations. Let's see if we have any of those. We have 10. May as well use them, right? All right. Um. Okay, that's easy. Need another three, so we're gonna have to do some crafting. Uh, castle foundations, castle found. Oh, we need stone. Oh, that's that's something we haven't needed in a while. Uh, let's do this. Alright, there we go. There's some fucking rocks. There's two. Four. Six. Eight. And ten. That should be more than enough. But I think we need to make another, um... need to make... Blue temple blocks, I think is what the other one was, and I know I don't have those. Mulling over a certain su subject of late. The more I think about it, the more confused I become. What exactly is the difference between a role and a duty? And is there any distinction between an obligation and a responsibility? Honestly, I've turned the world, the words over in my mind so many times that I can no longer tell one from the other. All I know is that Almighty Rubus granted you the power to build and took you under her motherly wing. But it was you alone who decided how to wield that power. And you alone who wielded it. Thank you, my, my girl. Don't listen to all this rubbish about roles and duties. The only right path for you is the one you choose. And I'll be with you all the way. All right, let's make another set of uh, castle foundations. And where are the temple tiles? I think you have to do those at the diviners. Uh, there we are, blue temple tiles. All right, back to the altar. All right. And we'll put that there. Hmm, not sure about this. 
Hey, look at that. Um, need some steps and some columns. Let me see if I have any of that shit. I have steps at least. Now I just need uh, some columns. Let me see if I have any of those. I don't think so. One, two, three. No, I have draconic columns, but I'm not going to be able to use those. You left Glutamus foot and stop going about on about you, you know? I'm worried about the w way you always go charging in when your mates are in trouble. You reckoned if you kept showing off like that, you was going to get yourself hurt. But I've been thinking, Ranko. Long as you w know what you're doing, you ain't going to regret it later. I don't see any arm in charging in or showing off all you like. So long as you don't go do anything stupid enough to make Glutimus cry, or me for that matter. If you do, I'll get Burley to put you through triple and his triple R training regime, and then we'll see who's crying. All right, where are the columns at? Columns, columns, columns. There it is. Two, four, six. And uh, let me get some more friggin' rocks. This should be enough. Thank you. That'll be enough of that. Uh, let's build our columns. Four columns. That's all we need. How'd you get in here? One. Two. Three. Four. That's what's up. Let's fill the, uh, the remaining holes. So that it looks all right, and there we go. Shouldst thou continue all that, and all that endeavors, at the same time, while well, thy sacred duty will soon be fulfilled. The duties bestowed upon us will oft coincide with our own amusements, wherefore we fulfill them lightly, but at other times they become a bulky burden that weighs upon, down upon us every step of the way. Rancor, the duty allotted to thee is a white, weighty one indeed, but it will soon be lifted, I assure thee. Thou must needs endure it only a little longer. Take courage, friend. Thine agonies are nearly at an end. And rainbow drop. Now let's uh put some of this extraneous crap away. Um Where's the rainbow drop? Ah, oh, there it is. Congratulations, Ranko. Thy duty as builder of all of God is com is fulfilled. The ancient altar is rebuilt, as are the rainbow drop, the sword of kings, and the auroral armor. All is in place. For the day of the dragon lord's destruction, and it cannot come soon enough. My child, I am so very proud of you. You have fulfilled every one of the weighty responsibilities that I bestowed upon your young shoulders. It has been a long and arduous journey, but you have at last achieved your goal. Just as your distant ancestor, a warrior named Erdrick, achieved his. Though fate did not grant you your ancestor's strength of arms, you are blessed instead with the power of creation. I searched far and wide for one such as you, who could clear the Dragon Lord's curse and bring back the light to the benighted land of Alavgard. At long last, I found you a 
slumped in a shallow grave beneath the crumbling ruins of Kentlin. But alas, I was too late. All that remained of your inestimable being was a cold and lifeless corpse, lately slain by the rampaging monsters. And so I breathed what vital forces I could muster into your battered body, and brought you back into the land of the living. Ranko, my child, I still remember what you said to me in Cantlin before your building work began in earnest. You told me that you just wanted to build things, not fight the monsters. And yet you have fought so hard to make it this far. Ranko, my child, your sacred duty is fulfilled. The power that I bestowed upon you will soon fade. But do not fear, you will not lose everything. If you conserve what little vital energy remains within you, a long and happy life can yet be yours. From now on, you can live in peace and build to your heart's content. Just as you always wished. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, homie. Oh, crap. Yee! Why does the ground quiver so? Oh, Ranko, the most... I have the most terrible news. The Dragon Lord has learned of thy successes, and his dark armies march on Tantigal even as we speak. Ranko, I have thought long and hard about this matter, and discussed it with those in thy fellowship. And we have all come to the same conclusion. There is none other but thou who can defeat the Dragon Lord and save our world from his unholy reign. Please, Ranko, I beg of thee, drive back the, the monstrous forces that close on this castle, then do away with the Dragon Lord once and for all. No, Ranko, do not follow that path. As I have told you many times before, you are not a hero. It is not for you to defeat the Dragon Lord, and what is more, should you go against my guidance and challenge the Dragon Lord, what little life remains within you will surely be expended. Even if by some miracle you were to emerge victorious, you would not survive to taste the fruits of your triumph. Listen to me, Ranko. Do not go blindly to your doom, but follow the guidance of your goddess. Ranko, stop daydreaming. The monsters are almost at the gates. I know full well that this is not part of the duty bestowed upon thee, but tis a daunting and, and tis a daunting and dangerous task. But I prithee, Ranko, nay, I beg thee, Use thy powers to defeat the Dragon Lord and save our world from the darkness, of course. Foolish child. Do you truly understand the significance of this decision? If this is the path you have chosen, then so be it. The role that I allotted you is already fulfilled. How you choose to live your life is no longer any concern of mine. You may do so as you see fit. Ranko, my child, I will watch over you no more. Oh, goddess is a bitch, actually. Well, fuck her then. We just gonna, uh, we just gonna have some fun. What's up, guys? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I'll grab those. Uh. Whoa. These are quite the wave. This is quite the wave. Nothing but Knights Abhorrent. Come on, bitch. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, I'm just gonna, uh, do this right quick. And off we go. Wave one, phase one completed. Let's see who's next. Oh, great, more of these guys. Come on, time to die.
Yeah, man. Well, that was quick. Let's see who's la let's see who's last, shall we? Damn. Uh, where's the car? And he did. Just how it should be. Victory. See the life. Uh, let's do some swapping real quick. Uh, go. My thanks, Ranko. Thou hast driven the monster's back attack. But I fear that the battle is not over yet. The Dragon Lord's army still surround us. We needs must defeat this place. If the fiend is heir to de be defeated, and my kingdom... Ranko, what aileth thee? Ne'er before have I seen thee so weak and weary. Still, I suppose tis only natural thou art full fatigued after so arduous an encounter. Do not be overly hasty in rejoining the fray, I pray thee. Be sure thy strength is recovered ere thou returns to the field. Well, my friend, art thou prepared to do battle for Tantigal once more? Anko, I thank thee. But please, promise me that thou wilt not overstrain thyself. Yeah, cause uh, fighting the Dragon Lord isn't gonna be a strain or nothing. Hey, 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 hey! It's over here, homie. Ah, crap! I'm gonna have to do some rebuilding. That sucks. Go. Now let's, uh, do this. All right, back to the Back to the grind. Wee! Ooh, Vis Majors. You pulling out all the stops. Let's see who the leader is today. Ooh, Red Dragon. Two, three, yeah, this isn't working. Woo. Oh, crap, that's a problem. Come on. Come on, dragon. Die for me. Woo! That was close. And another seed of life.
All right, let's uh, let's see here. Private bedroom. Good. My dear friend, I cannot thank thee enough. Again, thou hast delivered us from the monsters. Now that their attacks have at last subsided, all is ready for thee to face thy final challenge. Ranko, it is time. By the holy power of the rainbow drop, thou needst must journey to the Dragon Lord's lair. Don the auroral armor and the hero's shield that thou mightst be protected against the, his fearful magics. And take the sword of kings in hand that thou mightst strike it at the heart of the beast and lay him low. Oh, Ranko, I am but a spoilt and simpering princess who would be as nothing without thine incomparable powers. Even at this late stage, I have not even the words to lend thee courage as thou departst into the deepest, darkest night. All I can say to thee is this. Go, my dear Anko, and come back. Well, shit. Let's see what we can make. Actually, wait a minute. We got plenty of herbs. I'm more uh, keen to see Yggdrasil Essence. That's what's up. We can make exactly one of them. And now it's time to rock. Travel to the Dragon Lord's Island? Hell yeah. Let's do this. Whee! Well. <laughs> so, thou art come to meet me at last, Ranko. Thou who art blessed with the power of creation. Come to my castle. I await thee there. <laughs> well, it's nice to feel wanted. There'll be none of that. See you later, guys. Uh, I'd play with you all, but I'm busy. Um, oh crap, dragons. Nope, 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 nope. I'll be damned if the dragon lord ain't easy to, uh, to figure out. Just follow the trail of fucking destruction. Alright, guys. Busy. Or we can use these fires. That works too. You know what? About enough of that. Let me get this, this major out of the way. Come on, knight. Come on, show me what you got. Woo! And he's down. More shit to throw away. Hey, cool. Another life seed. That reminds me. We'll be good to have those on the hot bar when, uh, the time to fight the Dragon Lord comes.
Can't gather anything, but that's fine. Here it is. Oh, crap. Look at that. It's even covered by poisonous moat. Just like uh, the original game. How lucky for me I have something to cross it with. There we go. No, it's going to take some work. Let's see. Oh, hello. Hey, these guys sure like their newts. Wee. Try again. Oh, I could just whack him to death. Done and dusted. Well. Grab that. Hey, cool. Met herbs. I'll take this this major out. Uh, let's do some eating. Hey, look what's here. The faintest of drafts can be felt coming from behind the throne. Uh, can't take the throne, but hey, look at that. Look at that. Well, look at a hidden staircase. Well, I'm a sucker for the classics, too. What can I say? Put some crap away. Let's do this. Well, this is showy. So, thou art come before me at last, Tranko. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. I did not anticipate the coming of one such as thee. Thou art no hero. Thou art not but a flawed and feeble puppet of Rubis, forsaken by thy master. And yet, there is a fire in thine eyes. A fearful force burneth within thee. This power of creation thou wieldst is a terrible thing indeed, as thou knowest full well. Thou hast seen it with thine own eyes, hast thou not? In Kentlin, Rumaldar, Cole, and Gallenholm, in every place the humans used their powers to rebel against their fate, and brought a fate more miserable still upon their heads. I had no choice but to eliminate that corrupting power. Had I not done so, this world would have been thrown out of balance and fallen into ruin once more. So come, Builder. Allow me to eliminate the last vestige of mankind's corruption. The... Well... He's a nice fellow. <coughs> Let's do this shit. Uh-oh. Oh, look. We gotta deal with clones. Thankfully, they die easy. Ooh. Ooh. 
Woo! He coming at me real hard. Because we have a whoa, whoa, crap! Come here, boy. Where you at? Where you at? Let's go fuck him up. Let's go. Oh, look, more, more minions. That's cool. Woo! He got range. Well, that's interesting. Big giant ball of crap. Let's pop one of these real quick. Yeah, I can't use any I can't use any magic to begin with, so I don't know what the hell you think was gonna happen. Let's see who's next, shall we? More of the little clones. Come on, homie. Come on. Now we got another chance to whack him a few times. Boom! <laughs> it would seem I underestimated thee. How came a weakling child to wield such power? I see it now. This strength is not thine alone, but that of thy creations. Tis regrettable indeed that thou shouldst brandish this power against me. For this, for it is feeble in comparison to the pow to the true power of mine own. <sighs> Hear me, Ranko. Before I reveal to thee my true strength, I will make thee an offer, the same I made unto the last visitor to darken these halls. Join me, and half this world shall be thine. Tis an offer few would refuse. Thou art no hero, Ranko. Thy part in Rubis' schemes is already ended. Let not thy life be cut short in turn. Be not afeard. The world I grant unto thee will not be one of darkness. Twill be a land of light and liberty, where thou mightst build a kingdom in thine own image. So, Ranko. I give thee one last chance. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. What sayest thou? Wilt thou rule beside me? <laughs> then thou meanst to challenge me. No, Ranko, that if thou failest, the towns and villages that thou hast built upon these lands 
will be reduced to rubble, and all thy friends and fellows will meet their dooms. Every trace of thine existence will be wiped from the face of the earth. Art thou truly prepared to venture the future of mankind on a battle thou cannot win? This motherfucker full of himself, ain't he? Thou wilt have no regrets. So be it. Then come, fool. Know thine insignificance. <coughs> Sorry about that. Ranko, my child. Can you hear me? Rubis? What is the meaning of this? Ranko, you are not a hero. It was never within your power to defeat the Dragon Lord. However, with the creations you have built and the friends you have made, you can now call upon a power far greater than your own. Go, my child. Together we shall lay the Dragon Lord low. <laughs> Impertinent wet wretch. Come, Renko. Look upon my true power and despair. <coughs> Let's see what his true power is, shall we? His true power is Barney. That is not intimidating, homie. The Dragon Lord blasts all Oh shit, I lost all my shit. Hey, cool. Hey there. Take that. Whoa, crap. That sucked. Well, that's one way to do it. That wasn't supposed to happen. Of course, Pippa would offer plumberries. Oh, come on! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, shit. Yeah, I would like to return to before the battle. Well, that sucked. Do we have to do all this shit again? Apparently so. Come on. Uh, yeah, this is the one thing I hate about about games like this. Kind of hard to uh to get through. Uh oh. And so we have to do this boss battle again. All right, big dragon lord. Let's go. That's it. Woo! Uh 
Oh. And what is this? Huh. It's a big giant ball of fire. Let's see where the dragon lord at. Oh crap. Talk about having a mobility advantage. Easy enough. Uh, see life. In fact, let's use the other one just in case. Oh, yeah, that's going to pop regardless. Here comes the next. And you're done. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yeah, they really should have put the checkpoint in between at the beginning of the final battle, honestly. This, because this, this, this is, uh, I can see where this could be disheartening to somebody. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we, we already read this. Come on. I'm trying to kill things here. All right, let's do this. Dragonlord battle. Take two. I don't know if terrifying is the word I'd use. Let's see if I can dodge this shit. Oh, good. It, it can be dodged. Let's see what he wants to do. Cloud of Darkness. Yeah, that's not good for your teeth, is it? Who's next? Now nah, I'm getting it. Uh-oh. Um... Bro. Goodbye, Vizzy. Thank you. Another another shot. Well, this one throws the fat fireballs. Okay. Run! Whoa. Oh, I could have used that earlier. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Uh oh. Let's see what he's got.
Uh oh. Ooh. That was closer than I'd like. Give me that shit. Okay. I'll take that gladly. Ooh, that was hard. Let's try this again. Uh oh. It's your tower blocks. The fuck do I need those for? If I get set up barbells. Hey, that ain't cool. Thank you for the blocks. Those. Who's next? Ooh. He bringing the big knights. Hey, cool, a burger. That. Ooh, that was close. Um, ouch! Hey, it's almost like they knew that having two dragons right next to each other would be a bit bullshit. Hey, cool, some food. Uh oh. Ah, oh, great poisoned. Thank you. Yeah. Die, thank you. Oh, well. Woo! I don't have any cantlin walls, though. I got this, though. Hey, cool, cantlin walls. Could use that a second ago. Oh, crap. Yeah, cool. Some more, uh, those.
Oh shit, we almost got him. We almost got him, guys. He about to get fucked up. Uh enough. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Thank you. Let's see what he wants to do now. Boom! He's done. Lay down, Dragon Lord. And there it is, the Sphere of Light. Ranko, my child, you have done well. The Dragon Lord is no more. From the dawn of time, the Dragon Lord and I have sought to intercede in the eternal struggle between mankind and the monsters. For eons, I have... What? We should forget about the old fairy stories for now and concentrate on clearing away the dark this darkness. Hmm. Yes, perhaps you are right. Go forth, my child, and reconstruct the sphere of light. And... Banging a few things into place. The Sphere of Light. Ranko rebuilds the Sphere of Light. Well done, my child. Now, Ranko, raise the Sphere of Light to the heavens and clear away the darkness. Done and done. And there it is. The sphere of light goes up into the sky. And... Booyah! There it is. The light... Returns to Alephgard. Pranko, I am so very proud of you. You have made this land of Alephgard live again. Pranko, my child, that you were able to defeat the Dragon Lord is due to all that you have built, both your creations and your bonds of friendship. Though this was not the outcome I had anticipated, I thank you, from the bottom of my heart, for proving me wrong. Ah, but Ranko, what is the matter? Are you alright? Oh, my poor child. Come back to me, Ranko. I fear that my prediction was true. Vital energies that I breathed into you are nigh exhausted. Your body will soon relinquish its grip on your soul. I always knew that this would happen. It was never for you to defeat the Dragon Lord. Pardon, what did you say? You picked this path yourself so I shouldn't sweat it. <laughs> Oh, Ranko, you always did have a way with words. In all honesty, it seems you have not changed since the very first moment we met. Ranko, my child, there is one thing that I often wonder. 
Why did the hero who came before you accept the Dragon Lord's offer? I cannot claim to fully comprehend the human mind. And yet, it seems to me that this too was a very human choice. But let us not dwell on the past. Come, Renko. Your triumphant homecoming is at hand. Let us return to Tantigal, where all your friends await you. I will tell the, con the princess of your condition. Though you have but little life remaining, it should be enough. And off we go. As you can see, light as far as the eye can see. Unfortunately, there's also something of an invisible wall. Game's over, and they want to make sure you understand that. And here we are. All right, Ranko. You did it then, did you? <laughs> it was never in doubt. Whenever you set your mind to something, there ain't no stopping you till it's done and dusted. Well then, you better go and tell the princess the good news. I reckon she'll be able to put her feelings into words and cover up better than I can. By my beating bosom, Ranko, you have come back to us. And with a self-satisfied smile upon your face. Is it true? Have you really defeated the Dragon Lord? Oh, so wondrous. Oh, wondrous day. Well done, my girl. Well done. Come into my arms and let me kiss you. Or perhaps I should save that, leave that privilege for the princess, hmm? Hurry, Ranko. And tell the princess all that you have accomplished. But when that duty of that duty is done, don't forget to return to your old friend Rollo. Sounds I can scarce believe mine own eyes. Thou hast felled the fiend and returned to us unscathed. Forgive me, Ranko, if e'er I have treated thee with discourtesy. But now is not the time for contrition, but for celebration. Go, friend. And present thyself before the princess. By thy valiant efforts, this world knoweth true peace once more. A thousand thanks unto thee, brave Ranko. But waste not thy words on a humble knight such as I. Speak with the princess, I prithee. Ranko, my girl, I can hardly believe it. Verily, Thou hast laid waste, hast laid the dragon lord low. And yet, thou hast transgressed the teachings of the great goddess, and made my divination seem as significant as a droll's daydreams. Well, no matter. We need not concern ourselves with such petty trifles any longer. Well done, my girl. No doubt the princess will be as happy as I to learn of thine heroic deeds. Benevolent Rubis be praised. Ranko, you're returned to us alive and well. Well, I don't know if uh, Rubis had much to do with that shit. Truly the great goddess is smiling upon us this day. You must inform the princess right away. But after you've done that, you must tell me everything. Oh, my dear brave Ranko. Thou hast defeated the dragon lord. I restored the light to this benighted realm. But at what price? Rubis told me what fate is to befall thee. She did say that thine energies are nigh exhausted, and thy mortal body will soon give up the ghost. And also that thou repentest not thy decision. Oh, Ranko. Throughout my cassetted girlhood, 
Oft did I dream of the hero who would deliver my kingdom from the Dragon Lord. I must admit, thou art somewhat different to the man I imagined. And yet... Oh, Ranko. We have all been waiting and praying for thy safe return. I'm sure everyone else is as eager to congratulate you as I am. Neglect them not, I prithee. When thou art ready, I bid thee speak with me again. Mayhap the final time. Ah, Renko, hast thou spoken to all thy friends? I know not if they did reveal it to thee, but we have prepared a small banquet to celebrate the light returning to our world. Well, my friend, shall we begin the celebration? Renko, my dear friend, for defeating the Dragon Lord and restoring the light to my kingdom, I am eternally thankful. If it were not for thee and thy building abilities, this world would still be shrouded in darkness. My dear Ranko, thou art not the hero chosen by the Almighty Goddess, nor art thou the hero I did call to mind in my girlish daydreams. However, though it may seem trite, I believe this to be true. One that doth not perform heroic deeds because one is a hero. One becometh a hero by performing heroic deeds. There's a, uh, there's a bit of words of wisdom. That is why, to me, nay to all of us, thou art a hero above all others. Ranka, my friend, Rubus did tell me what it is to become of thee. Thou wilt soon disappear from this place, and there is naught that can be done to prevent it. But if we pray for it with all our hearts, I know that we shall meet again. Come, Ranko, let us begin the feast. We shall celebrate Hell of God's long-awaited revival together. And there it is. Congratulations, thou hast restored peace unto the world. But there are many roads yet to travel. May the light shine upon thee. I like the callback. I like the callback to the first game. Very nice. And now... Uh, the credits roll. I guess it's time for my final thoughts. This is um, a good game. Uh, obviously, they took a lot of cues from Minecraft, but at the same time, it feels a lot like its own title. You know what I mean? I think with the... Um, the third-person view was an interesting choice, I think. It um, it made some parts of the building a little bit uh, difficult, and it's easy to see why they added a first-person option to Builders 2. But it certainly does help to give the uh, the game its own look, along with the more um, along with the more smooth graphics. I mean, they're, they're, it's obviously block-based, but it's not as uh, deliberately retro as Minecraft. There's a lot of, uh, there's a big, there's an aura of cuteness, dare I say, that, that wafts throughout the experience. Seriously though, I mean, it's, it's a great game. I mean, yeah, two's much better, obviously, you know, this came out in 2016. But, you know, if you can find this one, if you can find this one cheap, I say go for it, you know? It's definitely a game worth having in your collection, be it for the Switch or for the PS4. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I had a hell of a good time playing this one, man. And good God, there's a, there's a small army working on this shit, man. <laughs> Look at this fucking credit roll. Holy fuck. 
But uh, yeah, here we are. I'm going to do one more part after this uh, to show off the Terra Incognita area, which is the, uh, the free build place, a little, little playground that you get. How the hell did a dude get the, how the fuck did a dude get the name Ribs? Well, he, uh, he likes his, him some barbecue or some shit? Well, I can't talk shit, I like barbecue myself. But yeah, awesome game. You know, it's definitely one I don't regret playing again, I mean, it's a fun one. <laughs> Um, let's see. Next, I'm probably going to play Dragon Quest 2. I'm going to be playing the Switch version. Since, uh... Since I, uh... Since I got that. 40 bucks off of Play Asia. Always nice to have these games physical. I like the, the, the cover art for the Dragon Quest trilogy on Switch, too. Because it's got all three, uh... Famicom arts, one after the other after the other. I just wish these console markings weren't all weren't on the uh, sides of the box. I'll show it when I start that uh, playthrough. I do plan to continue with Street Fighter Two. I I know I know it's been a while. Just God, it, it's it's hard to it's hard to get. Like, I, I front-ended this channel with a lot of fighting game stuff between Puzzle Fighter and the beat-em-up bundle games, which I still got to finish that, and uh, and the Street Fighter stuff. So I, I guess I, I, I guess I kind of burnt myself out on that, you know what I'm saying? But shit, man. I do plan to get back on that train. Yeah, they didn't have a lot of fucking uh, voice actors, which is good. Yeah. God knows they spent enough fucking money with all these people. Holy shit. Square Enix. And... Come on. Morning, boss. Had a nice night, did ya? You was hammering away in your sleep with a massive grim plastered all over your mug. What were you dreaming about this time? You weren't dreaming? <laughs> Likely story. Even your little legs were going like the clappers. Trust my luck, working for a gaffer who's gone soft in the head. Talking of what? Let's get to it, eh? This place ain't gonna build itself. Honestly, whose bright idea was it to rebuild Tantical Castle and Tantical Town into one enormous city? You're the only one in Aleph God who could do it, boss. We're all counting on you. Come on then, boss. Let's get building. The new apprentices can't wait to see the way you stack up them blocks. Cool, blimey. Feast your eyes on it, lads. That's how a proper builder does it. Just wait till we get started on that castle across the sea, eh? By the time we're done with it, it'll be blinking gorgeous. You know what, boss? You ain't no normal builder. You're a builder with a capital B. The world continues to turn, and the legend of the Builder lives on. Finn. I'm not sure if, uh, I guess that whole thing was a dream for the hero? Eh, it took a little while. Got my ass kicked a few times. And there we go. And there we are. 
I'll see you guys next time for Terra Incognita. But until then, God bless you all. Have a good one.